I really think it's wonderful that you can take an iconic space like this and use it like this, especially with what's happened in Laborthal. It just means that the place is still living. So there's been exhibitions, there's been workshops, there's been markets and gatherings, um, a whole range of things to explore what works here and what people will come here for, but also how we can draw people to Loberthal and um, explore some of the delights that are here as well. From the moment we walked in, it was very peaceful and calming and surreal. Felt like a really safe, happy place that you want to spend time in and want to be in. There's a unique kind of layout um, both here and in other kind of areas of fabric that allows for the imagination to sort of run wild as to how you're going to position works and how they kind of feed into one another. There's a number of beautiful spaces here for the work to inhabit. The artists that are sitting here each day are engaging with the people that are coming through. People from far and wide actually and that's been invaluable because we've been able to share what's going on here and how it's actually nurturing in some way the recovery for this community. Its value goes way beyond what we'd anticipated and I believe three classes from Loberthal School will be coming next week so I'm really thrilled about that. We have a fantastic community support, a really good program. We've got you know, artists coming, different organisations wanting to partner with us. So there's a real strong um, momentum that's building up. Loving the community uh, excitement about the potential as well. Um, and next step is the money to develop the building. So they're fantastic buildings. They're raw, they're industrial, but they're raw and industrial. So the charm is also the challenge. Uh, and so we need to make this whole compliant and make it a really vibrant venue that works really well and attracts people from everywhere to come out to Loberthal. One of the wonderful things that Fabric offers is a connection with um, an ongoing uh, narrative about place. Uh, obviously it was the site of the Onkaporinga wool mill which had a fairly significant presence in the community and so for local council to kind of look at this space and see potential of continuing that story particularly through arts and culture um, is a wonderful thing. It's been a bit like tending to a garden before you've built the house. So we've been you know, doing these programs, we've been connecting with our community and building community, uh, but we still need to develop the buildings and the infrastructure to really see our full vision realised. <laughs>